Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking all my new subscribers. Uh, my name is Ray Cornelia, and I appreciate uh, all the positive comments, ideas, suggestions. Um, keep them coming, man. Uh, before I get started in tonight's video, um, I wanted to talk about a couple things. Um, first thing is um, chip control. Um, I know Brad, Adam, Tom, y'all uh, hit me up and you're waiting to see the Grizzly make a deep cut and my tool bit grind. Well, I finally obtained a piece of uh, three inch 1018, uh, about what, a foot and a half stick. Uh, still waiting on my half inch um, tool bit. Um, I'd like to get a Rex, but I'm not having any luck finding them. So I may just have to get something Enco or MSC has. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to mention. Um, Got to get that done. I've just been busy as hell, man, um, and lagging there. Um, I got to tell you, you guys, I really appreciate all the chip control videos that have been done already. You guys are doing a great job. Um, I hope I can keep up with the Grizz, so we'll see. Might have to resort to the closing anyway. Um, there was something Stan mentioned in his last video that I've been thinking about. Um, it was on uh, thumbs down comments. Actually, thumbs down with no comments. Um, I got to say... Uh, these guys pour a lot of time and effort in these videos, and they're uh, evolving well, and they're getting better and better. Um, so I started thinking about this, and I was like, when somebody gives a thumbs down, um, at least put a comment why you gave a thumbs down. Uh, because I know I like to improve my videos the best I can. Um, so if we don't, if somebody doesn't like what we said or did, um, hey, let us know, man. All these guys are really good people. Um, they want better videos. They want better material out there. So uh, don't be an internet troll, man. Don't give a thumbs down and run away. Uh, give a comment why you gave a thumbs down. And for all you folks out there that are giving thumbs up with the comments, good for you, man. It helps a lot. Um, I know I appreciate it. I'm sure everyone else does. Anyway, enough said about that. So um, I'm going to cut the camera and bring you in and, and uh, show you the chuck that I got on uh, eBay and we'll go from there. So the story goes like this. A few weeks back, I picked up this uh, Jacobs 14N chuck off eBay and I got it without an arbor, uh, which I knew it was, didn't have an arbor. And all I had to do was uh, pick up an arbor. I bought a phase two. Um, with R8 to 3 Jacobs taper, popped it in, runs true, good to go. So I thought I'd try my luck again. Well, not so lucky this time. I did get a USA made uh, Jacobs 14N, uh, but this one had a broken arbor in it. So was not disclosed. Looks like somebody tried to get it out, snapped it off, who knows. Um, I do know that the 14N has a 530 seconds uh, hole drilled in it, and I think it's to avoid hydraulicking when you insert your arbor. Um, and what I try to do um, is set this on the vise and thought I'd get lucky and, and get a, a drift that size or a punch, and I tried tapping it out, it didn't budge. So I have a couple options here. I can drill and tap this, use a slide hammer, and try to slap it out. I don't have a slide hammer, so um, I could also drill it, tap it, um, put a bolt in there and use the wedges, uh, but I'm gonna try to do something a little bit easier. I think I wanna just drill it out, and by hollowing this out, I think it's going to release the pressure in the taper, and then I'll be able to pop it out. That's the plan. Um, so let's get over to the, um, to the lathe and, and go to town on it. Um, you know what? I think first I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Nah, oh heck. Let's just chuck it up and go. What do you think? So before I start drilling away, 
Um, I took the uh, the new Jacobs Arbor. Um, this is a three Jacobs taper to a uh, Morse taper three for the tail stock for my uh, Grizzly. Um, and I basically came up with no deeper than uh, one inch, 150 thou, and no bigger in diameter than five eighths, 625. That leaves me meat everywhere around this, so I won't even come close to uh, coming close to the taper of the chuck. So um, let's go over to the lathe and uh, center drill. Hopefully that shaft, I'm sure it's at least a 53 or 52 Rockwell hardness. Um, hopefully I could drill it. Let's find out. I just have this chuck lightly gripped in these jaws because I'm only on like three out here and I don't want to spring my scroll or, or the jaws in this chuck. So um, I, I just went around each one and just, you know, torqued it just a little bit. So we should be pretty good. So uh, let's center drill it first and then start drilling it up, drilling up from there. like it's drilling. Just gonna take it easy. I don't want to break anything off in there. That would be an epic fail. Okay, so far so good. Let me change out the drill bit. Okay, I marked my do not go beyond mark. I want to leave a little bit of meat on that tip of that arbor so I have something to knock it out with, but that ought to, that ought to be good. Next size bigger. Good.
Okay, I got about as much material that I want to remove. You can see in there, I still got some meat left all the way around. So now uh, let's go over to the vise and see if we can pop it out through the little, man, you can't see that, I don't know. Now I can't see it. Okay, let's go over to the vise. All right, I got the chuck set up on the, uh, my version of soft jaws, excuse for my big head. I got a 5.30 seconds uh, punch, so here we go. Well, look at that. One broken arbor, out. Looks like I'm gonna have to clean up that taper in there a little bit, but it's out. Get it ready for the new Jacobs Arbor. Be right back. A little clean up with some red scotch bright and looking pretty good. Not sure if you could see it, but. The new Jacobs Arbor. There you have it, man. Thanks for watching, guys.